about just a few months ago the Labour Party was sitting on top of the political pile in Nigeria, loved and respected by many for its integrity and the hope of a brighter future than it offered Nigerians. To this day, some believe that its presidential candidate Peter B won the 2023 presidential election but was thwarted by an entrenched system that wasn't ready for that kind of change. Many looked up to the Labour Party as a party that wasn't afraid to stand up against corruption and bad governance, a party that would perhaps one day lead Nigerians to the promised land. Today though, that trust appears to have gone up in flames and the Labour Party is looking like just another dishevelled Nigerian political party filled with rusting, untrusted politicians. Well, that's life in the Nigerian political landscape, isn't it? But it's even worse because the party has had to go into some form of administrative receivership as a way of keeping it from imploding. So, how has it come to this? Everyone here present as delegates in this very national convention by the powers bestowed upon me as the chairman of this very convention, I hereby declare Barrister Julius Abure. Appreciation and gratitude to all the delegates to this national convention for the trust and the confidence reposing us to continue as members of the National Working Committee, I assure you that we continue to give peaceful leadership, proactive leadership, we we'll continue to give result oriented leadership to this party. I told you that was an agreement. Mm -hmm for a unity convention. Prior to even him becoming the national chairman, there were agreements that, okay, look, for us to move further, we need to have a national convention that will be inclusive to everybody, starting from the world, to the local government, to the state and the federation. Once you do that, every other boxes are filled. Once you do that, you are in the clear, and you have the right to contest. You may even be popular than even some of the candidates. But when you refuse to do that, then you are missing the point. It's just like you thinking you are supposed to go to the right, you just decide to go to the left. Completely. So, so these are where the major mistakes was being made. So does this mean now that the only way to resolve this is through a special national convention? Which is, or it has in, what happened has been invalidated because all the components that are required are not met? What exactly is it? Yes. Now, even in Section uh, Article 13 of the Constitution, Subsection C, give room for special national convention in okay. case of issues of this nature. So everybody has a right now to go back to the drawing board and agree on the processes that will be followed to usher in or revalidate or reconfirm re 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 a national leader. And that mm. can be done through this particular process. Mm. Once this is done, there won't be problems. I told you there was an agreement. Mm for a unity convention. Prior to even him becoming the national chairman, there were agreements that, okay, look, for us to move further, we need to have a national convention that will be inclusive to everybody, starting from the world, to the local government, to the state and the federation. Once you do that, every other boxes are filled. Once you do that, you are in the clear, and you have the right to contest. You may even be popular than even some of the candidates. But when you refuse to do that, then you are missing the point. It's just like you thinking you are supposed to go to the right, you just decide to go to the left. Completely. So, so these are where the major mistakes was being made. So does this mean now that the only way to resolve this is through a special national convention? Which is, or it has in, what happened has been invalidated because all the components that are required are not met? What exactly is it? Yes. Now, even in Section uh, Article 13 of the Constitution, Subsection C, give room for special national convention in okay. case of issues of this nature. So everybody has a right now to go back to the drawing board and agree 
on the processes that will be followed to usher in or revalidate or re, 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 uh, reconfirm a national leader. And that mm -hmm. can be done through this particular process. Once this is done, there won't be problems.